were sensible enough to realize what was happening was not possible to continue because everything goes in cycles. We were fortunate to make a lot of money in that period. Not because they were good companies to bet on, but because we knew everybody else was crazy kept bidding assets up that just had no, no basis for value. And in that statement, I would say one thing to pay attention to and the answer I'll give that Tom has asked is you've got to put luck in the equation somewhere. None of us are smart enough to entirely understand the future. But I would suggest the one thing I learned, which is the basis of our business with investors and the boards we serve on is, it is absolutely worthwhile, lessons learned, is you can stand in what we call the visible future. There are certain human habits that continue to reoccur. There are certain tendencies that, you know, the rate of change in the early years, everything was moving so fast, if you didn't get on the train, you'd be left out. Well, in arrears, you can learn that everything doesn't move fast uniformly. And finding out what moves slow, but to the benefit of the user, is just as important as something that moves really fast, which is innovation. So the two lessons we learned is luck does count. And number two is this visible future thing is for real. There's a lot that we all know about the future, but get sucked into believing is not worth paying attention to, because technology in and of itself tells you this is going to change the world. So when the first computers came out, there was going to be a change in the world, but we didn't know where the change would be. Mobile, you know, when Paul Jacobs and his dad came up with the Qualcomm stuff and CDMA, they just knew mobile would be everywhere. They didn't have a clue over how many years it would take to get there. But now that it's there, there's certain logical connections between things you would do in a mobile environment versus things you wouldn't. So it sets up a picture of the future that the lesson I would share is form some flashcards in your mind about what might the future look like with what you know about how people act. And the last key thing I would give you is one example of that is, so we believe the cloud and things of that nature, the labels the industry gives us, you know, are sort of natural or maybe unnatural evolution, but it just makes sense to do. The real question is, for the benefit of the user, what possibilities does that open up? And in order for that to be real, we believe this thing called analytics and behavioral information about users is going to be a very big area of unmined oil. But I would say the lessons we've learned in the past with direct marketing, catalog companies, and all the other things of the world, it's got to be done with precise sensitivity to the user. They need to be part of the value equation. And in the early 90s and late 80s and 70s, the user's information was just kind of out there, and people took advantage of it. It's a new world. In a new world, in the sense of if you pay attention to the future, users want to be part of it. And then the last thing I would just say is, wherever you can produce an example, which is a root of entrepreneurship, I've never found in my career, uh, that's what it's actually called, uh, that if I didn't produce an example of something, uh, I was able to get people to understand it. So when you create companies or offers or products, sometimes you just have to do it, even at a loss, just to show an example to somebody. And the examples we've shown people recently of how really rich behavioral information tied to a mobile environment lets a user get much more meaningful information back, they all get it. The question is, how do you go do it? So the future, you, you've got a picture of the future, pay attention to it. Do pay attention to luck. We've learned luck is part of it. None of us are that smart. Uh, and third is, it's really about you know, how you think about where the user benefit's going to be and produce some examples. The rest will become obvious. 